Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Edo and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys a strategy that my dual partner and I have been doing for the past few days on my Twitch channel. Based on the background footage, you guys guessed it, it was 100% the deli. If you guys want to see me live with these strategies, I do stream on Twitch, which you guys can find the link for that in the description of the video. And also, if you guys are looking for dual partners or a cool community, community to chat with or POE related content, my Discord is open to all of you. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So this is the Atlas tree we ended up running for our strategy. We focused on Breach and Abyss. And this is because both of these mechanics spawned a lot of monsters. The more monsters we killed, the more rewards we got. On average, we hit 18 rewards and sometimes we pushed all the way up to 22, which is amazing. Something else we all ended up doing is we ended up going for Exarch over Eater. Now, we went for Exarch because Exarch provides more consistent currencies, while Eater is more quant and rarity. And I didn't find anything noteworthy that Strand has to offer for us to go that route. Also, if you guys don't have all the points that we have, there are a few uh, points I would recommend you guys can remove. The three would be these ones over here, the Conquer ones, followed by this Shaping of the Skies, and lastly, this left side of the Searing Exarch tree. Now, the Scarabs we end up running for this is the Breach Scarabs and Abyss. The last two don't really matter. We ended up choosing Sacrifice uh, at Dawn, which is probably the cheapest one. If not, you guys can find it. And lastly, we ended up going for a Cartography one because we got more maps and helps, helped us sustain our strategy. Um, this is actually not correct. We didn't run 8% increase quant. I can't change it here. The one we ended up running was additional abyss on our map device. Lastly, we ended up going with the compasses for additional abyss, uh, contains additional breach, delivery rewards feel 100% faster, which, which this is mandatory. And lastly, 30% increased pack size, because as I mentioned earlier, the more pack size you have, the more rewards you can get to on your maps. As I mentioned earlier, we did run Strand, and this was due to the fact that apparently Strand has a better coefficient or multiplier for rewards gained per monsters killed. And this ties in perfectly because the map boss is, is at the very end, and this is perfect for this node right here, which gives you a plus one once you defeat the map boss. The way we rolled our maps is we focused on 26% pack size or higher. And the mods we avoided due to my build was physical reflect, uh, no regen, and less recovery. The sample size that we used for this strategy to determine how much money we're getting was only 48 maps. Now, 48 maps is not a lot, but each map took us about five to 10 minutes each, and my dual partner was not having it anymore. Now we're here at the loot breakdown. The first thing you guys are gonna notice is the div value. Our div value is at 103. Now let me tell you how much we invested. We invested 43 divs. We spent 43 divs on everything required to run this strategy. That included the compasses, the uh, deli orbs, the uh, rolling the maps. Also, it came to the map device, the extra uh, abyss. Everything is calculated and we spent 43 divs on all of this. Now the profit is juicy. One thing that I was impressed about is we made our money back and more only through stacked decks. This override price that I put on here is for the conversion of 80 stacked decks to one div, which is what everybody is selling this at, including on TFT where I do most of my trading because it's easy and it's fast and it's in bulk, right? Some notable drops that we did get is we ended up getting one nurse, we got three divine beauties, and everything else is just there. Overall, our strategy netted us a profit of roughly about seven divs an hour if we assume that we did each map in 10 minutes. Even though I know I said earlier that we did it between five and 10, I'm just taking the higher number and just rolling with it so that way it's a little bit easier for everyone to do. Um, all in all, I'm fairly new to PoE, and right now I think it's my third or fourth month playing. So if you guys have any suggestions or anything I'd change about this strategy, please let me know in the comments down below. Also the link to the max roll Atlas will be in the comments as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in my next video or on stream where all the links will be down below.